I chose to do my video commercial on the medication Abilify and it is a caricature of a cartoon woman who is shown walking into her doctor's office stating that she was having some struggling symptoms with depression and that you can see some symptom improvement within two weeks with adding Abilify to your current antidepressant medication. The announcer then goes on to say that this medication is not indicated for everyone, that your depression can worsen and that you can have increased thoughts of suicidality and increased depression, that um, you can have some unusual changes in your behavior or thoughts of suicide, that it, it can increase the suicidal tendency and thoughts in children and young adults, and that early dementia patients have an increased risk for death or stroke when taking this medication. It also goes on to talk about when to call your doctor if you are having muscle weakness, confusion, and possible life-threatening conditions, or if uncontrolled muscle weakness or movements as they can become permanent. It increases your blood pressures and other medications like it can cause you for an increased risk of coma and death. And in extreme cases, the death is the extreme case. Other risk factors, it can increase your cholesterol and it can cause weight gain. It can decrease your white blood cell count. That can be serious. And it goes on to state that dizziness with standing, seizures, and trouble swallowing, and impaired judgment and motor skills should be reported to your uh, physician. Upon reviewing the insert that goes with patients on this medication, the things that I noticed that they didn't talk about in the commercial were dosing regimens and other conditions that you could treat this medication for. It also states that it's not approved for use in children in terms of some long-term studies. Um, the typical dosing is 10 to 15 milligrams taken once daily without regard to food and that it is not effective at doses greater than 10 to 15 milligrams. However, it can go up as high as 30 milligrams per day. The insert then, um, the, the thing that the ad did not talk about is the black box warning that we're all familiar with in terms of giving this type of medication to patients who have a dementia-related psychosis. It did say that you need to take care and risk with treating this medication with the elderly, but it did not go into the uh, black box warning with dementia-related psychosis. It does go through in the ad all of the symptoms that they did list. However, the severity of the symptoms, I don't feel we're given enough seriousness in terms of the uh, fatal reaction with neuromalignant uh, syndrome could occur. Um, the ad also talks about all the signs and symptoms that they did report. Uh, the thing that it did not talk about, again, is the off other uses, such as uh, Tourette's syndrome, schizophrenia, uh, autistic behaviors in children. And again, the dosing was not discussed during the commercial. The other thing that um, came to mind is that it does go through and tell you when to contact your physician. The insert goes into more detail about concurrent medications that you are taking and possible risk factors and that you must be under the care of a medical professional in terms of receiving the prescription for Abilify and you must maintain your appointments in terms of um, assessment of increased suicide or depressive syndrome symptoms in patients. So it does go into more detail in the handout in terms of making sure that you are being followed by a physician for these evaluations. The insert does say that it can be taken without regard to food, which was not mentioned in the ad. Um, and really the commercial did a good job in terms of what the insert stated. I think the severity of some of the symptoms were not as well addressed in the ad. And I think that's, you know, it's the, the ads are created to give you a basic information of what the medication is for, but that it does state that you need to go and talk to your provider in terms of what you are currently taking for medications and whether this is the right medication for you based on your history and the medications you're currently on. In terms of online commercials, I do think that there is some value in them because as a healthcare practitioner, we are not always up on the latest medications. I think that they are informative and they give patients um, a room for conversation to have with a provider. And the provider then needs to look into their current 
history, what medications they're on, and whether it is an appropriate medication to add to their regimen. Not all medications on a commercial can be taken by a patient, and they're unaware of the side effects and the contraindications with other co-medication administrations. So I think it gives a good conversation piece because people sometimes hear about drugs before we do as practitioners. So I do think there is some value in the commercials. Um, and I know that they are short term and cannot list all of the possible side effects. And that's why they do instruct you to have your conversation with your provider before starting this medication. In terms of my patient, I would let them know that, um, you know, I think I need, you know, a good review of the medication prior to having the discussion with them and let them know that it will depend on their current health status, what their comorbidities are, what they're on for a current medication regimen, and whether or not it is plausible to add that to their current meds. If there are no contraindications, then I think that it would be feasible to allow them to have some autonomy in their care and is worth experiencing you know, exposing them to that and seeing if it will aid in their symptoms. Again, I stated my personal opinion on the commercials. I think there are some value in terms of what it does in terms of communicating to people what the latest medications are. It is a little bit of a disservice to the provider in that we don't always have the latest data on what's out there for medication. So you need to kind of be prepared to have that conversation with your patient that I need to look into this and let you know if this is a plausible medication for your regimen. And I think that really covers it. And I've really enjoyed taking this class and I've learned a lot. And I think that um, 